guys welcome to another wow video and today we're gonna go after mystic rainbow horn i have been on the hunt for this one for a long time for those that don't know you have to find a horn and pretty much as soon as i did yesterday's video this is actually the same recording as yesterday's video except it's another rare so I chose to separate it, right? And right after I did that last rare kill, I found the horn, and so I clicked it, which instantly summons um, Mystic Rainbow Horn, so at that point, you got speed over. What I have done is I have my hearth set right over there, so as soon as you hit the horn, um, one major thing is set your hearth to turn a veil and when you hit that horn you hearth over and that's that's basically the way to secure that you make it in time because it's a zone wide announcement and all that right so uh so yeah i was really happy to finally get this one out of the picture because to be honest I hate hunting down the horns and I didn't do it daily, but I, I have had my hearthstone set to turn a veil for a good, I would say probably three months. Yeah, and I've just been waiting for that day that I catch this rare and then I was going to put it back to Oribos because I like having my hearthstone um, near portals. So, um, so yeah, I can finally finally put my hearthstone back to where it was so that's very cool so aside from that really easy to get this guy uh, the easiest way to do it is to do it yourself I three months I would you know I I hearth a lot right so that's a lot of hearthing and every time I would come into this area he would not be up so it really goes to show that either people think he just spawns or people just don't want to do the horns anymore, right? Now, as far as the horn locations, there's lots of them. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to list them in the description of this video. So feel free to check out that. That's, you know, you're, you're definitely going to want to check out the description or else you, you know, <laughs> Or else this video is useless to you and you have no idea where to hunt down the horns. Uh, one thing I'd like to add is that one big reason to get this, especially if you're Night Fae, is that there's a soul shape on it. The soul shape is a 43% drop chance. For any hunters that are curious, no, you cannot tame this guy. Which I think makes sense because... You know, since the main way to get this rare would be to summon him yourself and you have to do it by the horn and then you hearth, if a hunter was just standing there waiting to tame it, you would never make it and I think that would cause a lot of rage. But all hope is in lost hunters. You know how it goes. After Shadowlands is done, is there's a one. pretty high chance they might make this guy tameable, as they have done to tame? others in the past. So, uh, so just wait a bit, and you might have a pretty little pet. Here. So this blue one here is your soul shape. I I think the soul shape looks good, but not one I'd really use. I'm I'm really adapted to my cat. So I haven't changed out, like, when I got the cat soul shape, which was really early in the Shadowlands, uh, I never swapped out. I've been collecting them and I'll view them and all that, but I always go back to the cat. So, um, so yeah. Anyway, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, once again, check the description for the drum locations, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.